Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers and Mower Man and in this little video I'm going to be showing you how to remove your um, cylinder mower cutting blade to replace it with either your scarifier or aerator cassette. Um, obviously you do have um, user manuals on how to do that but if you'd rather watch um, a visual display rather than sitting and reading through looking at little diagrams then this is a video for you. If this is your first time watching Mixed Mowers, hit your subscribe button, whack your bell, set notifications to all, that way you'll be told one done a video or two of them on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty, and let me show you how to change a cassette on an Atco Bow Moral, Atco Punch, or any cylinder mower. Okay, so up on the bench, we have an Atco Bow Mole uh, 17SK with a Kawasaki engine. As I say, all you can do with these is just read through the user manual if you wish to do so. But if you'd rather have a, uh, a visual aid, then this is a video for you. Now, just for ease of access, I'm gonna remove the grass box catcher bar. We don't have to on yours, okay? Or some don't come off, but uh, just for ease of access, I shall remove that. To remove the actual um, cutting device itself, you'll need one Allen screwdriver, five mil, and there's two bolts to remove. Let me just show you where the bolts are. So the bolts to remove would be this one just here at the end of my Allen key, and also over the other side, you'll find another one just here as well. So you need to remove both of those Allen bolts uh, before you can even loosen up this, um, this cutting cylinder, but there is something else you will need to do as well. So first of all, we're gonna remove the bolts. They can be quite tight, so just make sure you go careful. I also recommend, before working on here, just remove the HT lead boot as well, because we are mucking about with an engine. <clears throat> and just slacken those bolts off, okay? There's two to do, as I say. So there's the first one. And then the second one is just over the other side, perpendicular to the first one. This one's coming out a bit easier. But there is something else you wanted to do to get this cylinder out of the machine. Now the reasons for doing this could be quite simple. You may want to change it over to a scarifying unit or aerator unit, or you may want to have the um, cylinder sharpened <coughs> or just be cleaned off or greased. Once that's done, you'll soon find that if you try to pull on that, that's not going to come out, okay? It's going to be stuck in there. So the next thing you want to do is round the side here with the same Allen bolt, the same Allen keys, is to remove the side inspection panel, which is a bigger one on the engine. And there's four of those to remove, two at the top and two at the bottom. And the reason you're doing that is because there's a big white gear um, inside here, which will stay connected to the cassette, which I shall show you very shortly on the scarifying unit. So on the scarifying unit, you'll have a big white cog. And that comes with it. So remove your side inspection panel, lay that down and don't lose your bolts. <coughs> Once that's done, I'm afraid to say it's just a bit of brute force and ignorance. You just have to gently pry up onto the cylinder itself. Now what you may need to do is get yourself a flat headed screwdriver because that may have been in there a little while, especially if the machine um, is second hand, third hand, fourth hand for when you first pick the machine up. So let me just grab a couple of flat head drivers. <clears throat> and what I do is just come down the side of the, side of the, um, the machine and just lift it up very, very gently, taking your time not to damage any of the paintwork on your lovely cylinder mower. It just gets pinched in there, that's all it is. And there you go, one cylinder removed 
from the uh, from the lawnmower itself. And now's a good time to get inside here. And as you can see, all this grass and debris needs to be taken out. That's why it's getting stuck. And what I would recommend to do then after that is just to get some grease and just to rub some grease down the side of these runners just here on here, okay? Now's a good time for you to either swap your cylinder over or take it away for, for sharpening, anything along that line. Your bed knife cutter's also on the bottom here as well, which can be removed for sharpening. Or if you wanted to, you could then install your um, scarifying unit. Unfortunately, this one is a smaller one. This is for the 14, not for the 17. But it'd be, it'd be exactly the same process. You just slide it back in and uh, do it with two bolts. So let me just get some grease. Let me grease this up and I'll be back in two ticks. Okay, now you've got your grease and you've had a bit of a tide up inside here. What I'll just say is just get some grease onto your finger and just run it along the sides of the plate and do that on both sides. There's a little tiny guide just down the far side. You can just run it across that. And just generally, you haven't, it doesn't want to be heavy, just put some on. Just so it runs a bit clearer. Let's put the cap on that. I absolutely hate working with grease. Once that's done, <coughs> you can then get your cutting cylinder back. And then literally, all you want to do is offer the cylinder to the machine and make sure that this white cog goes into this inspection plate here, just here. As I say, it is a bit jiggery pokery, so just go mind your fingers as you go in. But by having grease on the machine, you'll see how much easier that actually goes in. Okay, simple as that. Once you've done that, it's only a quick question of locating your two bolts. You can put some, some grease on them as well, just to help them go into a bit, they've been a bit dry, they've been out for a little while. And just locate them into each hole. <clears throat> and it's a question then of just literally wiggling the cylinder just until you locate the actual hole itself. I think that one's gone straight in. And so is that one. Get your Allen key. That's going in easy already, just a bit, a bit of grease on there. And these need to be done up tight because you don't want this, this um, cylinder to be loose because it spins around at quite a fair old pace. And all the time, the lawnmower is safe to work on because the HTD boot has been removed from the spark plug. <clears throat> Once that's done, you can then replace your grass box bar. Like so. And then replace your side cover with the four retaining bolts to fit. Get your Allen key. and do up the four retaining bolts, one on each corner. Now once you've done your, uh, your either your maintenance or um, changing from cutting to scarifier or vice versa, it will always pay dividends then to put your HTLE boot back on and then just to run your cylinder to make sure that everything is as per it should be. If you hear anything un you know, unusual, any knockings or bangings that weren't there beforehand, then just take the side inspection plate off just to have a quick little look inside to make sure all your gears are lining up. So what I'm now gonna do is put the HTD boot back on and fire this machine just to make sure the cylinder is actually working. So I'm gonna turn my petrol on, turn it on, put it on to choke, bit of revs and then cut the cylinder in.
once that's done, put your grass, back, grass pots back on and you're good to go mowing. Okay, so there you have it. One very, very quick and easy video on how to remove your cutting cylinder for replacement for scarifier aerator or for just for general maintenance. It's very, very quick and easy to do and will only take you two or three minutes to do so. Just remember to put a little tiny dab of grease on there, a little dab of do ya, just to make sure that the cylinder or the um, scarifier slides into and out of its location with ease. And then just make sure that you do it as two retaining bolts to hold the cylinder or scarifier in place. This method will um, cover you for pretty much most cylinder machines. They are all pretty much the same, even the older Suffolk Punch style ones, even right up to a brand new Alec Kensington or the Dennis's. They are all pretty much the same. Some differ here and there, but the process is exactly the same. If you enjoyed this little episode of Mixed Muds, don't hit the old subscribe button and whack the old bell. Set notifications to all. That way you'll be told one done a video or two on a Saturday night wiki live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. I look forward to the next episode of Mixed Muds very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, much more importantly, take it easy. 